It's the middle of the day, but I don't know where the sun is. I have not seen the sun for hours. <laughs> That's just how it is. That's just winter in Pennsylvania. Hang tight because the majority of this video is gonna be photos anyway, because this video is my inventory video. We're gonna be looking at how my makeup collection has changed over the year. I do these videos every six months and I do have a playlist if you'd like to see photos over time. I'll have photos comparing six months ago to now. And then I will share some numbers about how things have changed since the beginning of 2021 to now. A couple things I want to quickly clear up because I feel like everybody does their inventory a little bit differently. For me, I count my eyeshadow palettes as one product and I also count my single shadows as one product. And so at that portion of the video, I will share like how many palettes and how many singles and then I do have a number for how many total eyeshadow pans that I have that includes palettes and singles. If a product is a travel size or deluxe size, I do count it as its own, and that means it would take me like a couple weeks to go through it. If it's a one-use packet, I don't count that at all. And for face palettes, I count each individual product in that palette as its own. So I have a Charlotte Tilbury face palette, and it has one highlighter, one blush, a bronzer, and a contour. So I count that as four separate products, each in their own category. I'll start with eyes, face, lips, and then give some totals at the end, so let's jump in. Let's start with brow products. In the middle of the year, I had four products. I had two pencils and two gels. I did finish that Merit gel, and I finished that NYX eyebrow pencil as well. And I did bring a couple more in. I've just kind of been snatching up eyebrow pencils as they go on sale or go on clearance. I kind of want to compare all of the taupe blonde brow products that are out there. There are a ton, so I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, but I'm kind of just like slowly picking them up whenever they go on sale. And then the next one is eyeliners. I have five eyeliners in the middle of the year and I have six now. I purchased a brown liner from Essence and if you can see the two middle liners, that black and brown one, those are the ones that I use on a regular basis and they have gotten significantly shorter because I do use them every day or every time I wear liner. I don't have any other liners that I plan on purchasing currently. This is like a very kind of boring product to me and I found products that work for me that I like and I have some black and brown options and that's kind of it. The next one is the same eyeshadow primers. I have two and they're the same two that I had in the last check-in. If you look more closely you can see that that glitter primer looks a little bit more empty than it did in the previous photo because I have been working on that one pretty often. I kind of just switch between the two and they're fine. Like they're just, they're workhorse products to me. I don't feel like I'll ever need more than the two that I have. Okay, next category is the same. <laughs> Mascaras. I had five. I went through three of them. I think I was like finishing up the Merit one and then I did go through two of those mini Tarte ones. And so the only two that I have remaining from that check-in are the Charlotte Tilbury and then the mini Man Eater from Tarte. I'm currently using the Charlotte Tilbury one and then I did pick up a couple more um, one from Smashbox and one from M Cosmetics and that way I just have some on hand whenever I go through the ones that I'm working on but I usually never have more than one maybe two open at the same time. Alright, eyeshadow palettes. I have the exact same number because I actually haven't purchased any new eyeshadow palettes. I've only purchased one this year. I don't have any eyeshadows out there that I'm itching to buy. Um, and it's funny because a lot of the YouTubers I follow really love eyeshadow and they have really big eyeshadow collections and they love trying new formulas and they always like talk about their favorite new palettes, etc. And I always watch that content but I'm not tempted. I haven't been tempted for a long time to purchase a new palette. And I think that's good. I think that is, personally, that's growth for me because eyeshadows used to be something that I purchased a lot of and with the amount of use that I get out of them, it just doesn't make sense for me to continue growing this part of my collection, at least not right now. I have a great mix of different formulas and different colors. If anything, there might be some special single shades that I'd wanna get, maybe from like indie brands, like multi-chromes and really special unique shades, but I don't, again, I don't have any in mind. So this number has stayed the same and I don't really have any that I'm itching to purchase to grow this collection. And I certainly don't have any that are almost done, though I will be trying to pan that Charlotte Tilbury quad next year. So maybe this number will actually go down by the time I do my next check-in. I should have singles. I had 42 singles last update and I now have 43. I ended up taking back a single that I had originally decluttered and so I just have one more but it's not a problem. Again, this is kind of a 
something that I used to be really into. I used to love trying out other singles and I haven't really been into that lately. Um, and I do have a lot of really pretty shades. If I wanted to play around, I could. I would like to make an effort to reach for these singles more next year. And depending on how that goes, it might spark a new love and I can try some other like special shades or I might end up decluttering some of the ones that I have. Now let's look at total shadows. Last update, I had 236 shadows. You saw that I brought in another single that I had recently decluttered, and I did use up a matte cream eyeshadow from one of the ABH palettes. So this number has stayed the same. I had 236 last update, and I still have that now. The next product is concealers and color correctors, and this one has definitely jumped. I was kind of on the hunt for my next favorite color corrector, and as a result, I now have like almost double the amount that I had last time. I did finish one of the ColourPop concealers, the No Filter, and then I have quite a few concealers, maybe three that are almost finished, like I've either taken the stop route or I'm about to, and so I think that this number will go down by my next update, but I think it'll be the concealers and not the color correctors. The next one is also one that hasn't changed too much. And I still feel, okay, I used to be really overwhelmed by the amount of highlighters that I had. I don't feel so much that way anymore. I had 12 in my last update. I now have 14. I am actively trying to use one of the mini Becca ones. And I am trying to finish the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Highlighter. I just put that in a Project Pan introduction video. And those liquid highlighters I do go through, like I use those pretty regularly. If not as a highlighter, I use them to mix with cream blushes. And so I think this number will go down by my next update. And highlighters are just not something that I'm really in the market for. I don't really have any highlighters in mind that I want to try. I, I just, and if I do, they're usually liquid highlighters, which I tend to go through more quickly than powders. So I think this is fine. I have a variety of different undertones and finishes and colors. And yeah, I feel okay with this, but it is a category that I think I could pare down a little bit. Like I don't think I'm going to need this many highlighters or to grow this by any means. I say that, but then, you know, I'm sure a lot of brands are going to be coming out with <laughs> liquid highlights that I'm going to want to try. So the next one is the same. It's blushes. <laughs> I, I feel like I have too many blushes, but I don't want to get rid of any of them. When I actually think about my blush collection, I like all the different colors I have. I think they're each unique and like for a different purpose or for a different type of look. I've really been getting into cream blushes and so I've tried some other formulas. Like I don't feel like this is out of hand, but I just need to be cognizant to not bring in more blushes because I think I've purchased like three or four this year and there is no way I can go through three or four blushes in a year. So I just think that this, this category can slowly creep up in number if I don't watch it. The next one um, is one that has really changed for me over the years, bronzers. I had nine bronzers and contour products last update and I still have the same ones now. I am in the process of trying to finish the Nabla one. Yeah, I don't have any bronzers in mind that I want to try. And so this has kind of turned into a workhorse type of product for me, which is funny because it's one that I used to really love trying new formulas for. The next one has grown. Um, and I, it's fine. <laughs> Some people might look at these face powders and think that's way too much, but I use face powder every day and I use a lot of it because I do get oily very quickly. And uh, so I had seven powders last time. I have nine now. I purchased the RCMA one and I purchased the number seven powder. Those are both on the right side of the newer photo. And I went through an entire RCMA powder a few years ago and I missed it. I love that powder and you get a ton of it. It's kind of like buying powder in bulk, but it happens to be one of my favorite formulas. And the number seven one I just wanted to try because I hear great things about it. And the other uh, powder compact with a mirror that I usually keep in my backpack, the e.l.f. one, I hit pan on it and it's kind of slowly getting used up. And so I did want to buy something to replace it. And then that Too Faced powder and the Charlotte Tilbury Loose powder, both of those are more than halfway finished. Like I do feel like those will get done next year. Same with the Kosas powder. I've been using that to set my under eyes. The Besame Violet powder is also almost gone as well. And so they're products that I do use regularly. The next one is foundations. And I had eight foundations last time. I have seven now. Quite a few of the foundations I currently have. It's weird. Like they're either almost empty or they're brand new. So the It Cosmetics, the two Charlotte Tilbury ones, 
the cogent dough like those are very full like they have still a lot of product in them and then all the other ones are almost finished so i think that this number is going to shrink but that is not a reason for me to purchase more it's really like I want to make sure all my foundations get finished before they expire. Like I purchased the foundation with the intention to eventually finish it. The next one is powder foundation. This has not changed. I had one last time. I have the same one still. The next one is primers. This has grown. I had six last time. I now have seven. So I finished that mini tart one and then I brought in the Milani one and I brought in another Charlotte Tilbury one. And I'm almost finished with a couple of them, but I would like to pan a lot of my primers this year. I have tried a lot of different primers over the years and I've only found like one or two that I really, really like. And so I would like to work out some of them and kind of just not grow this category. Like I, I just don't think I'm a primer type of person. The next one is setting sprays and I am definitely a setting spray type of person. I had seven last time. I have six now um, because I finished the Tarte one and I finished one of the Urban Decay ones. I have a lot of almost finished setting sprays in my collection so i think that this number will also shrink but i don't have any issue with purchasing other formulas if there's a new setting spray out there that i want to try um nothing is stopping me from buying it because i use setting sprays all the time the next one is lip liners and i could not find my ninth nyx lip liner so there should be 12 eyeliners in that second photo there's only 11 but it's only because i can't find my one of my nyx lip liners i finished uh, the NYX Nude Suede Shoes one. And if you can see the size of those NYX lip liners, a lot of them have gotten a lot shorter since that first update because I do reach for kind of the same two or three shades more than the other ones, but I love all my lip liners. I don't think that this is like a problem area. I like having different colors depending on what lip color I'm going for, so this is fine. Okay, this next one, lipsticks. I really thought that this was gonna be a bigger jump. I'm surprised that it was actually only four more. I did buy a lot of lip products this year. Um, I just really wanted to try more of those like lipstick balm, hybrid, gloss balm type of products. Like I've just been really into that formula. I did finish some lip products and um, the products that weren't working for me, I didn't force myself to finish them. Specifically that NYX Filler Instinct, I grew to hate that product because it was so minty. I just hated that. And I was trying to finish it and I was like, why am I doing that to myself? It dries my lips out. It's it's uncomfortable. Like it's physically uncomfortable to wear. And the color is not that great or unique that I would put myself through that. So I eventually just decluttered it. I was like, you know what? I don't like it. I'm not going to spend time wearing this when there's other lip lipsticks that I could be wearing. So I did um, pass on some that I didn't like. And then I did finish a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, which is awesome. And so this number hasn't changed as much, but it doesn't mean I'm going to go out and purchase a bunch more. I am going to really try to rein in the amount of lip products that I purchase uh, this upcoming year, just because uh, lipsticks still take me forever to go through and I don't want it to get out of control. The next one is lip glosses. I had nine last time and I have eight now. I did purchase the one from Bare Minerals. That one is a new purchase, but I did finish a couple. I finished my Marc Jacobs lip gloss and the NYX lip oil. And a lot of those Charlotte Tilbury lip glosses, they may not look like it in the photo, but they're like almost finished. So I think I'm gonna have fewer, like I think I'm gonna use up a lot of lip glosses next year because I've kind of just been rotating through those Charlotte Tilbury ones. I love them. And a lot of them are, I imagine, gonna be finished next year just organically. The next one is liquid lipsticks. I had eight last time. I have six now. I have been working through some of these and using them as cream blushes. I did declutter two of them. And so I think this number will sh slowly shrink over time. I don't really have any urge to purchase more liquid lipsticks. The next one is tinted lip balms. The Catrice ones. I finally just made peace with that and decluttered them. I purchased a bunch because I could only purchase them from the Catrice website and so I purchased a couple to kind of stock up and also just to get free shipping and I realized I don't actually like that formula as much anymore. I have so many other tinted lip balms that I prefer that aren't super minty feeling and are in nicer colors and nicer formulas so I decided to like finally let them go instead of trying to pan them. The NYX ones are still a favorite. Now let's look at numbers. Um, so at the beginning of quarter one, I had 224 products, and that is still the most amount of products that I've had since. 
and luckily it has shrunk over time. It shrank all the way down to 203 at the beginning of this year. It was only 204, it had only gone up by one towards the middle of the year, and it has expanded up to 216 as of now. And so in order to go from 204 to 216 in the last six months, I brought in 43 products and I finished 19 products and I decluttered 12. And so that gives me a net increase of 12 products. And uh, yeah, this is like, I think a good way to look at this because I don't declutter at nearly the same level as I used to back in the day. I try to be more particular about what I bring in and I try to make sure that I'm finishing things if I can. Like I don't hate pan stuff, but if I can finish something, I do try to. And the majority of the products I bring in, I do purchase them with the intention to eventually finish them someday, with the exception of a few products like eyeshadow palettes and blushes. That's not always like a feasible goal to have for every single palette and blush I bring in. But for the most part, um, making sure that I only keep declutters as like a last resort type of thing helps keep my purchasing habits in check and it helps keep me from just buying things with the assumption of, oh, I can just pass it on later if I don't like it. So before I end the video, I did want to look at each individual category through the years with you, just to see if there were any big jumps or if that number has stayed, stayed the same. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to keep it quick, but I will have charts up for you to look at. So something to keep in mind about eye products all together, like in general, is the numbers have kind of stayed the same. Some of them have gotten a little bit smaller, some of them have gotten a little bit bigger. At the beginning of 2021, I had 86 and I have 79 now, and none of the categories have really changed a ton, with the exception of the total eyeshadows line. And the reason that has changed so much is because I did declutter quite a few palettes, and some of them had a lot of shades in them. So the Too Faced Natural Lust palette, that was a 30 pan palette. So when I decluttered that, that obviously changed the number of pans that I have. But in general, this number has kind of stayed the same. When you look at face products, I can sort of say the same whenever you look at the total number. I started with 82 at the beginning of 2021. I now have 83. But the two categories that have seemed to change a lot over time are the concealer and color correctors and the highlighters. So I started with eight concealers at the beginning of 2021. I now have 13. It is because I did purchase a bunch at once. But highlighters, that is one that has really changed a ton. I started with 23 and now I only have 14. And a lot of it is because I did actually go through a lot of them. Like I said, I was going through powder highlights. I was also going through cream highlights multi-using them or multitasking them and using them in different ways to go through them. And so this has dramatically decreased. I did declutter a couple in the process, but a lot of that number change is because of actively working through these products and trying not to bring in a ton more. Lip products, this number, the total number hasn't changed a ton over time. I started with 56 and now I have 54, but that lipstick number has absolutely jumped. <laughs> like. Um, I have fewer liquid lipsticks. I have, you know, almost halved my liquid lipstick collection. And the same with my tinted lip balm, that has definitely changed a lot over time too. But I have more than doubled my lipstick collection and that is just something that I kinda need to keep my eye on. Um, I need to make sure I'm going through the products before bringing a bunch of new ones in. So that's just something for me to look out for. It is reassuring to know that the majority of the categories that I have are relatively stable, like they don't change a ton or fluctuate a ton over time. And so it kind of helps me get a better idea of like how to strike that balance of bringing in new things, trying new formulas and techniques and still having fun with makeup but making sure that I'm not being super wasteful in the process. I've been loving watching everybody's inventory videos. It's like one of my favorite things to watch, getting to get a sneak peek into how people's collections change over time, especially because everyone's kind of doing things differently. Uh, some people are on no buys. Some people uh, like to buy a lot of things so that they can review them. Some people have much bigger collections, much smaller collections than I do. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my inventory video. I have a lot of videos that are gonna be coming out around this time. Um, a lot of just like beginning of the year, end of the year wrap up things, so please stay tuned. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video.